God. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Guy Ko Kuko Kujin podcast. Uh, we go get in that one. Unfortunately, uh, we lost two hosts for the time being. They may be back. We'll see. Uh, right now, it'll be your returning host, Graham, your returning host, Phoenix, and Blaze to be, in a sense, the trial third host. Until if he feels comfortable enough, like we all like, you know what I mean? Like then he'll be in. So we're gonna start with introductions. Uh, I'm gonna let Blaze go first since he's a new guy. And then he can tell tell y'all in a sense about who he is and where he's gonna be bringing to the podcast in the near future. So go ahead, Blaze. All right, bet, right. So <clears throat> I'm an amateur pro fighting game dude, right? I'm an amateur sociologist. I, everything about me is amateur. My opinions are, are uh, based on uh, the knowledge that I've gathered uh, and the institutions I've verified them from. I'm not like uh, like the, like a kind of person that like subscribes to like any particular ideology or like school of thought that like is just narrow minded or one sided or anything. Like no, I just I read about things, I learn things, I know things. I'm trying to be good at video games. I think I'm funny. You know what I mean? Um, but that's it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Tell about who you used to be, though. <laughs> oh, who I, who I used to be. <laughs> um, nah, man. Um, what like about us? Like, where, like, where well, we I mean, that's like that? part of it, yeah. But like, just that whole previous, you know, four or so years. Oh, okay, yeah. So, um, <laughs> I was in the I was in the Marine Corps uh, for four years. I should have went to the Air Force, like this dude. <laughs> The way, way, way better idea. Like, uh, my dad was like, why do you want to go to the Air Force or to the Marine Corps? And I was like, because, uh, man, like, I already had friends that were in the military, and I didn't want them to, like, I don't want people to have this opinion, like, those niggas are harder than me. And that mattered when I was 19, you know what I mean? Like, that was some real shit. Like, I cannot have people thinking that these niggas are hard. I can't do it. So, yeah, I went there, and then I got there, and then, you know, I got to see, like, you can't really put – with military branches, it's like when you say, oh, I'm the best because I was in the, the Marine Corps. But to civilian people, it's like, you know, nigga, you was in the military. That's it. Nobody cares. Like, you can't put that <laughs> in category. Facts. They're not wrong because the military is one one whole bracket, yo. You in that <laughs> all bracket? All right. You hard. All right. All right. All right. You're supposed to be special or something? You went to the hard one? because you. Can I mean, I guess extra? I mean, I guess as the one civvy on this on this whole situation, I guess, I mean. <laughs> I go like it's it's military and then like okay there's like special forces spec ops dudes they they like the upper echelon to like a normie you know what I'm saying yeah, that's facts right. that's facts like right. so only people who like differentiate between the different branches are people who are in and they know what the different branches go through <laughs> like that's the like, only people who are like you navy like, okay uh, yeah you know what I mean like seamen like <laughs> yeah. like and people like marines look down on everybody. <laughs> yeah, like, I like, think, yeah that's true they have no reason to you know it's not like our <laughs> uh, our conditions or quality of life is better it's just like that that badge of like saying like, i'm better than you i can run faster than all you niggas like that's <laughs> that's what it is I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I could do more push-ups like yeah just yeah. knowing that you know you walk into a room marines do that you know like we when we used to do tournaments like the air force dudes would invite the marines to uh, tournaments on their base and we get over there you know, they sizing us up about the game, and we sizing like these fucking losers. You got <laughs> so many more pull ups than these dudes. We're not looking at the bracket, none of that. <laughs> uh, I cannot. I cannot. You know, I'm telling you, that's how it would be, though. And then we show up on their base, and it's like home base advantage. Let's go. Like, like oh, okay, here we go. They, like, they used to do bold stuff, dog. Like, you get over there, and they'll have like, like, they'll have like a 150 person tournament, and they'll put all the Marines on the left side of the bracket, and then just have everybody else on the right side. Oh, like, wow. They, they, y'all, different breed. They know y'all coming wow. in with it. Like, yeah, a Marine is showing up to play a game. It's like he's going to play the game like he's a Marine. Like, <laughs> he's going to go we, at it. We don't accept loss. There's no surrender. <laughs> you not retreat. Like, you should be getting mad, bro. <laughs> You know, one thing that I do see a lot, of, like, I don't see here in Austin anymore, but in Detroit, I used to see dudes get, like, rage a lot more at Smash. Like, they, there's a lot of, like, good women that play Smash in Detroit. Um, there's, like, an Arabic girl that plays um, uh, uh, Zelda, and she's really good. Like, she's just she's just good. Like, there's no, like, gimp to it at all. Like, she's just good. She's just fucking accurate. Um, and dudes, like, man, dudes, like, expect to they get in bracket with her, and they think it's a free win, and, like, they get mad. I seen a dude pick up a chair and throw it one time. Like, I just couldn't believe it, dude. I couldn't be that mad. And of course, like, I don't want to lose to her either, you know, but like, damn. <laughs> but like, if she good, she good, bro. Like, what you right. mean? 
Like, like I don't know, man. Like, if she good, she good. You got to give respect where it's due, my G. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> definitely, care. definitely. Like, oh man, but at least you you can acknowledge, like, yeah, she's good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they probably just like, nah, she cheated. And I'm like, she's using <laughs> Zelda, which is like not even like I Zelda's know. good. No. I love Zelda. I'll give but, him that. Like, she yeah. is using Zelda. If you play Zelda right, if you turtle the right way, you know, yeah. like, I'm not, you know, it's like Guile isn't the most tre- cheating ass character in Street Fighter, but if you turtle the right way, like, yeah, bro, you know what you're doing, dog. Like, <laughs> yeah, no. That just sounds efficient to me, bro. That's all I, all I'm hearing is efficiency right now. <laughs> it is. It is. You know, yeah. it's, that's what but Smash to be is, fair, bro. Yeah. Like, Smash know. is really playing your character to their strengths. To beat because like fighting DLC character. Oh, we're gonna go into that. We're gonna go into that. <laughs> we're gonna go into that one. But anyway, I'm sorry, Phoenix, you take it away. All right, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the reins real quick. Um Black Phoenix in the building, you know what it is. Um, that is my handle on everything. Uh PSN. I had I had I had Xbox for a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have an Xbox right now. I got everything else but that. Um, but uh yeah, BLK underscore Phoenix is my PSN. It's my Steam. It's it's my everything. Um, if I can get that handle, that that's that's where I'm at. Um, I don't play Smash a lot. <laughs> I got the Switch. I got the 3DS. I got the DS. I don't. I'm not down with Smash like that. Um, <laughs> I used to be a little bit like my boys would. You know, if I go and you know we're, we're there, I'm gonna play a little bit. You know, I'm not. I ain't no great shakes, but you know, I'm just I'm just a plus one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> If you, if you want to get your get your get your get your good strikes in, like I'm the punching bag when it comes to Smash, but everything else, um, fair game, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what 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 else is there? Like I, I'm a big role play guy, RPGs, um, tactical RPGs, a few Japanese RPGs. Oh yeah, um, action RPGs for sure, for sure. You play action Halo Adventure? Wars? What? Halo Wars? Bro, I just said I don't own a own a Microsoft oh, box, bro. Man, man, man. <laughs> right get out of here, bro. <laughs> what's, what's your favorite RPG, dude? Honestly, like top three, top three, top three. This is this is gonna sound cheap. It's gonna sound bad, but like, it's Fire Emblem. Oh, hold up! Fi- Fire he was actually there. playing it. He was I'm about to see dude. it. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. That ain't cheap. <laughs> like, no, no, no. That is, that is Fire Figure Guts. Like, I'm. Oh my god. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Next right. year, next year. Mind you, this is this is not in one, two, three order. This is just you know, it's it's a it's a fluid. It's fluid. Yeah. I got to be in a vibe. Gotcha. So it's 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 Fire Emblem, and honestly, it's the slightly older ones, like the ones on like 3DS. I own the ones on on Switch. Don't get it twisted. But like, if I really want like in depth, proper, go deep, I'm jumping back on the 3DS, man. Um, th- those ones bang. Um, I'm gonna throw Pokemon in there because Pokemon does count as an RPG. <laughs> People hate on it, but it's an RPG. You know, you go in, you level up your dudes, and you fight man's. <laughs> You know, like no, you're right. You're right. I don't even have time yeah. to label Pokemon. I'm just so busy, like grinding when I play it. Like it's just such a crime. <laughs> I don't even think about what it is. Dude. I just know what I yo, got. Yo, for real though, I had to, I had to apply the logic and be like, yo, Pokemon is an RPG, and I sink mad hours into that. Like I literally have on the Soul Silver Poke Walker the other day because me and my coworker were talking hey. about this, and Pokemon is one of those games that holds such ridiculous value that for the box, for the regular. 3ds case the 3ds cart of soul silver and the poco walker people are buying that on ebay for like two bills right now i i know that yeah i got i have one of those well not for soul silver but for heart gold i got two of them actually in the stores in japan when me and him was over there you can usually go to the, the geo stores and they have like a whole bunch of they're not even used they're just like aftermarket video games sitting on the shelves oh, yeah so like well, i was just we would like uh get extra money for being over there so like i would just buy random ass shit off the shelf so i have two copies of them. one of them i open uh the other one like it's uh hard gold it's in the box it's got the poke walker i've never opened it but you oh. said they paying for that though <laughs> oh bro if you have if you have the actual outer box with the poke walker inside and then the 3ds case inside it bro that's yeah. like six bills on um, 3ds case the three like the case. no you know like how okay so like the game box yeah the game box because you know yeah. how it has yeah. the no the, i got it the, the yeah the legit gold the cardboard box that the actual uh 3ds yeah. game comes in right? is it yeah. wrapped in plastic yeah. though yeah uh yeah bro yeah dude. you had yeah. it sealed bro like that's Jeez. money like yo. you sit bro sit on that for like 20 years my guy yo do not open that <laughs> 
Real quick, before you go that. deep. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show it next time I hop on here because niggas gonna think I'm lying. No, so but yeah, no. Do you think? Do you <laughs> think, bro? I'm telling you because, like, I was looking at that too. Like, it's, it's crazy you bring that up because, like, um, so one of my things is like, I love RPGs too. Like, like RPGs is like my number one. Probably like that's what got me into like gaming, gaming. Like, I started Mario, you know, Zelda, yada yada yada. Eventually, got into Final Fantasy, and I made it a point to collect one through, well. This is where it gets. So I have one through fifteen, but I, I got don't like eleven. When I say don't like, didn't play eleven, play fourteen, but they were online, so I don't count them. Thirteen doesn't exist, but everything else in between that, like love them, like got them like hard copies, like I had to. Uh, but seven, if you have seven, it was like two hundred and seventy three to buy like the, the disc, like like not the disc, but like, like the game case, like like two hundred and like I was like yo what what like, and just speaking of Fire Emblem um path of radiance oh that is the only one i did not play path of radiance on gamecube what, bro what's the Ooh, first what's yes. the first fire emblem game y'all started with because i, I would have got into that man i just never i feel like it never just you know went by me at whatever age group it was not mm. like something i could see and grab off the shelf and ask for it that one was yeah. early one of the earliest ones i played was on game boy advance and i don't remember the mm. name of it but i think I it was remember fire emblem it, no oh. it it they had numbers then they had numbers on it because they all yeah, the main characters right. were different. No, no, I can first, tell you who the main character was though. The, wait, who is it? It was Lynn. It was the chick. It was the chick. Okay, that so yeah, with Roy, Sword. Roy, Lynn, and Hector. Yeah. No, not Roy. Not Roy. Eli Wood. I'm sorry. Eli Wood is Roy's father. Don't don't. There you go. I had to get yeah, but it's but literally Lynn. just called Fire Emblem. Is it? Yeah, Fire. I think it's like Fire Emblem Advance, but it's like the first one they released on Game Boy Advance was Fire yes. Emblem. Like that yeah. one. I know exactly which one you talk about. And Man, then it was well, Sacred Stones. Yeah, yeah, that was my first one too. Actually, my friend lent it to yeah. me because I was like, he was like, you like RPGs? I got this game, you know, Fire Emblem. I don't know if you want to try it. And he like just like lent it to me, and I was like, yo. After that point, fell in love. Like, it I, was mean, I mean, yo, I'm like from back to uh, Shadow something. I can't, the one with Marth, Marth. Like, yeah, that was like the first Fire Emblem. If I'm not mistaken, what system was that on? Uh, that one was on like Nintendo. Yeah, that was. I was playing that. It was it yeah. was either on, it was on like re- NES man. It, it was yeah. it's old. It's old. They re-released it for DS though. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you got to play it. it. Even look, you look at it even on DS, it looked old. Like it was yeah, like you different. can tell that it aged. Yeah, like definitely. Yeah, because the thing after that one is like a couple more because if they re-released them in the future on like the uh, 3DS, the one yeah. with the uh, teal hair kid and then like the pink hair girl. I, yeah. I have it. I can't remember what it is, but they re- they re-released that one. That was I think that one was the second one, and they released then then Roy came out, and then after Roy is what starts the Lynn Hector and the Lywood saga, and then Sacred Stones is Sacred Stones has like different people in general. It's like, but it's like they kind of take place within like the same time frame, but they change like the area, the map changes and the area changes each one you do. And then after Sacred Stones, it was, I think, uh, Birthright and Conquest. Oh, okay. And then it was the new one, uh, one on Switch. I didn't know y'all saw um, three, houses, three Houses and um, there's another one in Switch, too. There's, I think there's two sets on Switch. They, they had DLC for uh, Three Houses. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they definitely did. Um, but yeah, man, like, there's, like, if you, um, oh, on, 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 3ds it was awakening and something oh like that. that's what yeah i, I knew that it was corin the one with corin um i didn't play that one is it okay hold on let me no no wait no that's the one with robin tell you to the back corin is uh birthright and conquest robin is the one on um awakening yes that it's one robin, actually was good it's, it's robin with a y it's robin with a y i think he was a, a spelt with a y no no is i is i in is it i he in smash well, he, oh, she okay, is in Sailor. Smash. Whoever you pick is in Smash. Yeah, yeah. All right, Sailor, Sailor. But yeah, man, like every, I think every Nintendo console has like maybe two Fire Emblem entries on it. Yeah, I think that's safe to say. Yeah, I, yeah. it goes in. It goes in. Yeah, um, and it's definitely like the, the, the punishment aspect of it is I think we're kind of like ooh, so many times starting over. Man, like, Listen, <laughs> listen, that ties to my third choice, which is honestly tied for one and two is Fire Emblem Tactics Advance, bro. Oh, man. Fire Emblem? No, y'all used to be oh, wait, Final that. Fantasy. Uh, no, Final Fantasy, sorry. Final Fantasy <laughs> Advance. I was like, sorry. I, I, yeah, got my I, I knew that's what No, 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 about. you're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah. I knew that's yeah. why I was like, let me just, yeah. Yeah, bro. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> man, the hours I sunk with that, me and my boys would play that in high school, man. Yo, no. Ooh, oh, my goodness. The, oh. Trust me. That, that was the oh. days, boy. Yes. Yes. That was the like, days, man. That I was on got, Game Boy Advance. You said tactics. Um, yeah. The first one. The, okay. So, technically, technically, it's a Sony game first. Yes. PS1. Tact- Tact- tactics um yeah. advanced war of the lions yep. Sony playstation one then it was tactics advanced which was on the gba then it was tactics advanced eight uh final fantasy tactics a2 mm. on 3ds okay and i actually didn't they, play that one you didn't but, oh man oh you missed it bro i know i know i know did y'all oh, play man. um i don't i don't know what it's called on the ds it's a final fantasy game on the regular ds though you were um i think not not Titus. Um, one of the other blonde blonde kids though, but it was like an RPG game like that where you like control monsters and like they were calling them like espers. I forgot. I almost beat the game. Oh. I played it like some years ago. Is it Chronicles? It's not Chronicles. That sounds it? like it sounds like Chronicles. I, what, I played. What, I played Crystal like Chronicles. Yeah, I played okay. Crystal Chronicles on the GameCube, but it's not that. It's not that. No. It's, not it's, were you like Chibis, like big headed? Type anime uh, type you style. You look like you look like little legacy of Goku, uh, like avatars. <laughs> yeah, it might be right, Chronicles, so, bro. Yeah, Chronicles. So originally, like, so it was either I'm thinking three or four. Was the main character like Cecil? I mean, all right, so like, uh, it'd, be, it'd be easy if you like if you knew the class, because like, so when they first released it on the um, not first, but when they released it on the D, uh, DS, like, I remember they re-released three and they re-released four. So three, I can't speak too much on. I haven't actually got around to beating that when I got it, but I didn't beat it. And then four is the one I played back when it was on SNES. So like I know the story and I remember like, so when they released it, I was like, yo, I'm in there because that was honestly one of my favorite stories. Like that's what made me kind of realize like gaming wasn't like always for kids kind of deal. Like it wasn't like a childish kind of deal. Like because right, people yeah. was like real ass dying in there, and I was like, <laughs> "What? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, like hurt my heart." And I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck? Like, I, I've spent so many hours raising this person, not nah, he well, dead, like bro. leveling up, yeah." And they just like, "Yeah, he sacrificed himself. Like, good luck, bro." And I'm like, "What? Like, like?" But that's oh, what got me the person me. forever. Yeah, like they're gone. Like they they die. Like they gone. Oh, shit. Final Fantasy four. So in Japan, when it was on like SNES, it was Final Fantasy two. But in America, like the translation, it ended up being like Final Fantasy Four because like Final Fantasy One and Two in America is like Dawn of Origins. It's a diss I got. It's like Dawn of Origins is like the first first two, <clears throat> which is more like Dragon Quest, like the earlier Dragon Quest, and then three, which was like Ghost for like the longest time. Like it, I don't know if it released in America like past the recent times, but I never could find a disc for it. And then having found so Final Fantasy Chronicles had Final Fantasy Four and Chrono Trigger. And like a dual disc pack and then five and six were another one anthologies and then it was seven eight nine you could buy ten you could buy ten two and then eleven yeah, ten and oh, no, yeah, twelve eleven was online but yeah 12. i think i think blaze is talking about final fantasy 12 revenant wings i literally just pulled it up that's why i was waiting on him I think to it's revenant wings. oh wait wait yeah. hold up it's wait, final what? fantasy 12 revenant wings yeah i played this for a little bit still it was decent it was, was decent first, from what I remember. That was the first Final Fantasy uh, RPG that I, I got into um, and actually played, like, almost to finish. Like, I don't yeah. even think I knew it was Final Fantasy at the time. <laughs> Yo, that's one of the things I, I – so, like, real quick hot take. I can't – as much as I like RPGs, the mainline Final Fantasy games, I can't get behind them. I only play the spinoffs. Really? Yeah. Big facts. <laughs> you don't like – so you like uh, 10 and 10 too, then, right? Did oh, 10, 10 counts. 10 two is – I would say spin off. Well, see, a, it's a name, it's a numbered entry, so I didn't really give it a shot. Like, uh, I, I'm not gonna front. Like, I'm gonna own up to it. It's it's one yeah. of those black spots. I'm a little like, bit disappointed. I ain't gonna, I ain't a lot of you, like, but like, <laughs> it, it is what it is. Like, I yeah. My uh, <laughs> my sister, my sister was playing through those, but uh, she couldn't beat the boss battles for ten and ten two. So like, I used to beat the boss battles for her and just watch her play the rest. Um, and then like when she would leave, I would just play Blitzball over and over and over again. Like, I <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this man, whose man's is this? Yo? <laughs> For years, dude, we would, get off of school. we would get off of school and be like, dude, let's play Blitzball and like pass the controller back and forth. Like, this used to be fun. We used to wish yo, it was still there. Yo, <laughs> I'm, yo, I, like, the concept of it, because I didn't understand. So, actually, when it comes to 10, it's funny. Like, because my brother, <laughs> like, so 
I was in middle school and my best friend loaned it to us because he used to come over to my house and like he's the one who put me on with like Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy X and all that. But like when I first got it, I don't know why I was so adamant to not like it. I was like, fuck it. Like this game ain't real. Like I don't care about it. Like, you know, whatever. And my brother sat down and played it and I would sit there and like, I would watch him play and I would just be there for the whole thing. And I was like, once I got to the end and we saw like the twist, I was like, okay. 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 Well, and I, I like I, this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I show it. Though. I was like, it's not Final Fantasy four though. I don't care. Like, you know, I was like, it's like all my bougie shit. And right. then you, like you hard time in denial, bro. Yo, I'm telling you, I got like, literally like so many years down the line, sat down and played through the whole game. I was like, like, because I'm telling you Final Fantasy 10, like, Nine is my favorite. Like like four and nine are my all time faves. I can't I wouldn't really pick one. Four just because that's like the first one ever. But ten, if I ain't say that like it ain't hitting close, it's hitting close. Like ten is mm. like that was fun. Yeah. No, and yeah, like the 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 acting, the screenplay, like acting wasn't like the best, you know, but it's the best you could expect for a video game. The the, like I said, the twist, like the story, there you go, the story of it, like how it all plays out. And once you actually realize what you're doing and how it is, it was like, yo, what? Like, like I'm not, I don't want to ruin it for people. That's one thing like I don't because it's, it'll ruin it. Like say it ruin the game. But if you, it would make the game less impacting if you know what, what, like, what's going to happen. But I would yeah, strongly but I, suggest. Yeah, you got to be careful, man. Like some people, like they're like, I won't even watch this anymore. Cause you're <laughs> some people are like, dramatic. Spoilers. Like, yeah. That's, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let it. <clears throat> people people act like that about Shonen. They act like that about Shonen anime. It's, it's so like childish. Like, bro, dude. Because what do we actually know? Like, yeah, you know, hero is gonna win, bro. So yeah. like, don't act like I really spoiled something for you at all. Like at like, some point he's gonna get that dub. At exactly. some point the dub's gonna come. He about to right. power up. He about to hit another level. He, right. He's even gonna like take a hard loss, but he's not gonna die. He's gonna come back. You know. Yeah. But yeah. he's eventually gonna win. Like we. That's know one thing I like about Demon Slayer. I'm not spoiling that for none of y'all. I read the manga all the way to to the finish. I want. I'm not spoiling mm. that for none of y'all. That ain't no regular Shonen anime, dog. Nah, it is not. No, it it's not. not. I have high respect. High respect for Demon Slayer. But yeah. Boy Graham brought up another RPG um, series that is very, very much highly held hi- held in high regard, and that's uh, Kingdom Hearts. Mm. Again, another oh, no. series that. Honestly, I tried the main line. I tried it and I, I give it a pass. I didn't finish any of them. But them the PSG offshoots, game. the offshoots, birth by sleep, and and um and what's the one with the cards, man? Oh, chain chain of memories. Chain of memories and rechain of memories. Oh man, I played the hell out of those. Oh, oh man. The the birth by sleep or the PSP ones, right? Yeah, birth by sleep is yeah. the PSP one where you flip yeah. between Sora, um, not Sora, sorry. Um Ventus, um, the girl and the young boy. Oh, oh Aqua and Terra. Yes. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, game yeah. was sweet. So that game was sweet on, on back, back. I still have a PSP, bro. I, 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 I still seriously? One. Actually, on God, I have two. Yeah. And they're both still same, same. 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 Bro, the when I tell reason, you. The only reason I have two, dog, the only reason, bro, is this game called Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team, dog. Ooh. On the PSP. <laughs> Bro, so look, I ain't never even really known nobody that's played that game besides me or had it. I've just had two of them just in case I run into somebody that really wants to play that game. <laughs> this guy said, yo, it's ready player two. I got yeah, you. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> yo, honestly, no cap. No cap. At one point, I actually owned four PSPs um, because I had two PSP 1000s, a white PSP 2000 and a PS Go. The white one. Yeah, I had I had the fabled white one, bro. That was so yeah. clean. And I remembered I traded it in to get a DS Lite because um, I wanted to transfer over some of my Pokemon from my carts to, to the new ones. So I, I was like, yo, white PSP, you got to go, my guy. Like, you got you have to go. Um, what, what was you playing on that? Not well, same same crap. I just I, I had it for like a brief, like maybe a month. And then I was like, you know what? This is not. No, I'm going back to the regular. Yeah, it's like we had PSP Go came out and it was like, um, okay. Like I saw, I respected what they were trying to do, but then you know what? I was like, yo, I I still got the one thousand though, so I'm gonna just go back to basics and, and just chill with this. Um, I didn't even know. It was like, yeah, man. I remember like the Vita and like the regular one. I didn't know it was like different models, oh, different models. Yeah, man. Listen, my Vita still rolls with me, bro. 
I take my Vita out more than I take my Switch, my G. No word of a lie. Also, I also used to play a Gundam Extreme versus Next Plus on the Vita Ooh. on the PSP. That used to be like the real shit, dude. Listen, listen. If if you're gonna talk about PlayStation stuff, don't don't let me whip out my credentials, bro. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm a, I'm a little certified, bro. Okay, wait. One one question I did want right. to ask this. What uh? So for both of y'all, what were the first three games that you like? This was your game for you to just spend time with personally and be all the way to finish. Like the first three games that you actually just completed yourself. All right, whatever. Bet. All right, bet. GameCube, Need for Speed Underground, bro. Need for Speed Most Wanted on PC at the time. I, I, I remember driving around in that blue Viper. It was beautiful. And what did I play after that? Because I was a GameCube boy for a hot minute. Those are the, you beat them. You beat those. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh like yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, hundred percent. This this is this is like teenage geo life, bro. Um, <laughs> but like, I think my sister my sister had a GBA, and that's when I was playing Pokemon and um, Final Fantasy Tactics back in the day. But like, uh, so how she old were you when you was uh, when you was playing the the Need for Speeds? That was like fifteen. Damn, you didn't beat a game until you was fifteen. Well, I mean, I, I'm trying to spitball right now. I just, I'm just trying to remember where I was in that that time of life because, like, I didn't mm-hmm. own a console for a while, right? Oh, um, okay, okay. Yeah, it was one of them ones. So I didn't really have a lot of gaming. Like, I wanted to, but, like, I just didn't have the opportunity. Right. So, no, I, I can relate. Yeah, so I, I would think I'd say I didn't even beat the early Pokemon games when we were playing them first. I was just, like, playing them. Oh, okay, I lied. So I'm, okay, I didn't really lie. I know so, you good. I'll say, yeah. I don't know if you guys know this because this is kind of a deep cut. Um, Mega Man Battle Network. Yeah, you, yeah, nope. you, know what I'm saying? Like, you I, literally I, got two Mega Man fans here. Like, like, listen, bro, like Mega Man on NES. Like, I was playing Mega Man. The first one I played okay. was three. But okay, yeah, no, say less. Yeah. Go see, yeah, right. you good. I am not going to boost myself. These are not me stating my credentials. This is what my boy is saying. I am God tier in that game, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, I am God tier. Like, Did honestly, you beat them all? All four of them? Four, bro. There's four Mega Man Battle Networks, right? Nah, son. There's like six of them. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> oh. They kept releasing like, them. Like, Oh, yeah. They went ham. Yeah. Uh, Mega Man Battle Network 1 was like blue and white. Then it was two, um, three, four, red sun, blue moon, um, Colonel and Proto Man. Um, and then something else, and then they had the the star star series. They kind of put it on DS, mm. and they had another yeah. set of releases on there. But I beat damn near all of them <laughs> straight up. I was fiending those games back in the day. We oh, would yeah. we would play with the boys after school on that man. So yeah, Battle Network. Damn, what? Well, uh, yeah, bro. That's wild, dude. I uh, I I'm a Mega Man fan, but Battle Network is exactly like the e- the uh, Mega Man e- NT Warrior is like exactly where my shit like stopped because it was like Ooh. I've beaten pretty much every almost every every Mega Man game. Like I have uh the the Switch remake of uh, the Part Two, and that's because I'm only working on uh. Six, seven, and eight. Those are the only X games I haven't beaten. Um, mm. then uh, the original, the original Mega Man. I have um, the only one I haven't beaten is uh, four. I've never even played four. Mega yeah, Man I, four. yeah, me neither. Actually, I've I, actually got um, the other games too, um, like ZX Advent and stuff like that. So Not yeah, you ever played Mega Man Zero? No, um, a little bit. A you want on PlayStation? No, no, on, uh, no. on uh, Game Boy Advance. That's my favorite Mega Man series. Mega Man my, series. my other boys were on that. My so, other boys were on that. Which one did he release on PlayStation? I think it was like Mega Man Zero. No, no, yeah, no, that's, like, that, well, that's Meg, the Mega Man oh, X. X. Mega Man X. That's the X collection. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was that's X. the old school yeah. style. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That was the one. Like, but it had zero on it. That's why I thought it was, yeah. Yeah, Mega Man X. Zero, you can switch between actual. the two and then you like even play, you play the story with Mega Man, you play the story with Zero. Like, yeah. that's what put me on with Zero. I'm so mad. I'm so mad they didn't put him in Smash. Like we ultimate about that earlier today, yo, man. so <laughs> mad, bro. I was like, oh, y'all really going to do that though? Like, I thought, like, I was hoping the last character would be him. I didn't really like voice that, but I'm like, yo, it I was hoping it was gonna be Shadow, man. Like, there are just certain reasons why Shadow, like, Waluigi, and Zero. 
Sonic should not be alone, bro. It doesn't make no sense. No, sound. exactly. Like, it, no, for real, for real. Each, each, each franchise should have like snacks. two or three mans. Like, yes. Like, yeah. Like, it, and it's, especially when it makes sense, though. Like, Sonic is, he comes from a verse where like he, everybody in that verse is on his dick. Like, he has a squad, like, of, of, they call him Sonic in the Freedom Fighters and shit. Like, it just makes no sense for him to be in Smash just, alone. He like, can't he be doesn't... rolling solo. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Like, what? Listen, Man, if you, Mega Man you know, 2, though, like Mega Man's on NES, like, he's like OG Nintendo, and you give him one slot, and it's just like, yep. That's true. If they, and, if that, they like, was, and if they wasn't going to put Zero because they put regular Mega Man, they should have put Proto Man because that's always his like other, you know. True. Proto true. Man's his go to. I mean, hero that's, and villain, like that wouldn't be like. That's what I'm saying. Why do we have Dark Pit before Sonic got a nigga, like a friend? <laughs> like, why is that a thing? Yo. <laughs> we got Meta Knight and King DDD. With Kirby, like it is like don't get me wrong, Kirby whole weight, like Kirby yo. whole weight, but Co- Co- Kirby OG though. Come on, man. Yo, yeah, but Meta like Knight, Mega Knight Man's been out before Kirby though. Like Mega Man is I mean, OG OG. Like Mega yeah, but, Man is okay, but here's the thing with Mega Man though. Mega Man went through so many different like changes of ownership though. Yeah, so, but like uh. if, you, if you think about it, so wait, no, wait, he's always been Nintendo. He's always been Nintendo, but who yeah. owns him? Capcom. Capcom. For a while, Capcom was in Facts. bed with Sony, so they weren't really like dashing Facts. no love to Nintendo them times. It's only since the other day that Capcom kind of started dealing with Nintendo like any kind of serious way again, right? I don't know though, because like all the DS games, all the advanced, like like like, like Mega Man main home is Nintendo, like in like the X series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which kind of thing, kind of like. You know, yeah, they blow it up because, like I said, nobody. Yeah, because really the played. X series, the X series makes it, in my opinion, like a uh, uh, PlayStation and not Nintendo, bro. Because it's like from from X eight, mm. from no, not even from X, from like literally Mega Man eight, and and uh, it's on PS two, and then it's just like all of them X games, Mega Man X Command Mission. I mean, I guess you got like the, um, but no, I mean, there's there's a PSP and PS Vita Mega Man game, so it's just like, bro, there's really not yeah. Mega Man on. Uh, sure. Mega Man on Nintendo is kind of like a thing of the past. But we also got Ryu and Ken and Terry and Joker. Well, again, you never seen Nintendo. Well, no, no, wait, take the back. No, uh, uh, it was a while ago, though. Joker, I don't sorry. Joker. Like Ken and Ken and Ryu, they have. Uh, was King of Fighters on Nintendo? What I believe, King, so. King of Fighters. King, yeah. King of Fighters. Nintendo, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, that's fair. That's cool. Not That's in cool. America, so though. I'll give it to Terry. Not, not to see, not for us most of the time. No, it's yeah. for Japan, though. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was. It's definitely like I've seen it as a SNES. So. Yeah, because I was about to say Banjo because we we use like Nintendo sixty four. So I can't talk shit. <laughs> no, yeah, so cool. it's, like they came through with Banjo, but it's like man, we wasn't really thinking about that no more. Uh, I just think Zero like Zero needs to be. He needs to be there, or even like the newer Mega Man or Proto Man. It's so many Mega Man characters that they could put in the game, it would make so much more or sense. Ba- like, Bass, Bass, Bass would have would have hit. Yeah, Bass is one of the the big the villains. Yeah. yeah, he's the big dude. He black, like the, like black the, and gold. Yeah, and his, but, head, his head kind of goes backward like a lion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm he thinking about dog, that. It's like Mega Man got a dog. Facts. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I'm thinking, but, um, I was thinking about the other dude. I uh, one that has like the full covering, like the one eye. He looked like a fucking. What was it? He, I'm sorry. He had like full covering, like like. So he looked like a, like. So we'll just draw shit. It's probably easy. He looked like this, and went down, and he had like stretchy legs and arms, and he had like a red eye in the middle. And that's all he had. Uh, like, one I mean, you talking about uh, Sigma? Maybe my, like the, my, the, the, mm. the boss that they'd be fighting. We gotta be. We gotta jump on Google for that one. Yeah, I'm gonna say I can't. I just remember fighting him and he like kicking my ass all the time. I was like four or five, like playing him though, like playing the games. Oh, oh so, yeah, Devrick, what was your uh, what was your first your first three that you beat? Oh, all right. So that I actually beat, I was no joke. I was in middle school, like eleven. Final Fantasy four. It was yeah. the first game I actually like beat, you know, like all the way. But Final Fantasy, like I said, Final Fantasy two on the SNES. Ah, I'm lying. First games I beat, I Ninja Turtles actually. <laughs> and when I was on Super Nintendo, okay. you play with some. It's like it was kind of like Street Fight, like, uh, Streets of Rage, which was like Contra. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. you just went through. Me and my brothers used to beat that game over and yeah, over and over again, like picking different Ninja Turtles, like. <laughs> Right. That was fun, man. That was yeah. fun. I played that with my cousins, yo. Yo, like, that game used to reach for hours. I used to in play that. that, but I, I was definitely dying. Hell, I never got. 
Like, I'd be like, there, yeah. pick me up, pick me up. <laughs> no, yeah, no, like, continue, take all the continues. Like, that was me. I was taking all the continues, and then I kind of, like, I got better at it. And I yeah. actually had my favorites. And then second, I want to say, I, I, there's so many, though. Like, I, I tell you, like, and I'm not even, like, trying to, like, humble brag. It's like, when I tell you, since I was three, like, I remember the first game I ever played, Super Mario 1, and then it was Legend of Zelda. And then it was Double Dragons. And then from there, it kind of just branches out. Like, there's a bunch of different games on SNES. Duck Hunt, actually, Duck Hunt, because that was on the same Mario 1 disc, uh, cartridge. Bro, the man asked you the first game you beat, bro. Listen, yeah, I know, I'm, but I'm like, I, 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 just, I can't. I can't. Can you beat Duck Hunt? Like, no, like you I that game until the screen, saying, bro. bro. I don't even know if you could beat <laughs> like, Duck Hunt. You could keep going, yes. though. Nope. Once you won, the screen froze. You had to hit that button. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, no, no, no. I, I, I was just thinking like, I, I, I was thinking about like, so I can't. It's hard to think about the first game I beat because like, it could have been so like minuscule. Oh, bro, I was, on, I'll man. say you distinctly remember, remember distinctly remember Ninja Turtles, Gauntlet Legends, Ooh. and then. Number four, number three, number three, number three, number three, number three, number three. I want. I'm gonna have to just go with Final Fantasy four. That was the one I actually. I felt like I. I remember sitting down, putting in like work, like I'm. I'm beating this game, like really sitting down and trying. Yeah. Like that was like the one I was like every Saturday when I could play. It was Friday when I got out of school. Saturday like all day, and then Sunday till I couldn't, and then I was like, all right, cool, next weekend. And I'm thinking about it like so. Final Fantasy four, I believe, is my last one. But yeah. Okay, so wait, you used to wait. I thought Final Fantasy IV was his first one. Ninja Turtles was his first one, and then you said Ninja, uh, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Yeah, Ninja Turtles. I said Final Fantasy IV is I'm gonna leave as a third one. Like that's oh, my okay. last game. Like that I remember like being like being young. Okay. Like, I was like eleven. Yeah, because I was in middle school. I say after that, I'll probably ask y'all um, what were the the first three games that y'all had to leave alone. Like that you had to be like. Oh, this shit is like the when, like the first time in your life you hit a wall and you're like, oh, this shit is too hard. I have to just put this game down and go play another game. <laughs> wait, wait, and, and then you came back to it later and beat it. Or whatever. No, before we hit that one, right. the, I, as soon as you said it, I already, I immediately <laughs> thought of the first one. But oh, wait, like, what are your first three games you beat? Oh, um, man, dude, my the first three games that I beat, the first two of them, um, I had like I had tons of games like since I man when I was. Mm, how do I put this, man? I guess it's hard to describe. Like the same way Devrick was going. Like I play, I had played a whole bunch of games because I was the youngest, like just with my older cousins and my sister and stuff. But I had never beaten anything or played anything intently. Like I used to play the first level of Doom every single day, die and lose <laughs> for years. Uh, and then like uh, I, my sister had a Game Boy Pocket, the the, the Game Boy without the color. The big, yeah, and I had yeah, like yeah. child support money. I knew my my dad used to give me child support, so I was like, "Hey, hey, Tiffany, I'll buy that uh that that Game Boy for you." She was in high school. I was like five. But yeah, I was literally in kindergarten. And she sold it to me for seventy bucks. It came with Donkey Kong Country two and Super Mario Land two. Um, mm. and I worked on that, so I I played other games like I say for the next like year and a half. But I worked on those like those are the games that like I would just die and just keep and keep playing and like not yeah. necessarily get discouraged. And those I would say those games like started to like actually teach me what resilience is in video games. And once I <laughs> once I beat those, I got a PS1 uh, shortly after. And that one was like, you know, because we had like a PS1 that all the kids can play. But then we got I got another one. So uh, I got Ape Escape and I beat that. And then wait, 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 so wait, 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 Ape Escape, first game you beat? Ape Escape is the third game I beat. I beat those first that Mario, that Mario, Mario game, and Donkey Kong. And that, uh, Donkey Kong. Yeah. Okay, cool, 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 okay. cool, cool. That's respect. All right, yeah, that's, that's respect. fair. That's fair. That's fair. Ape Escape that was, that was like that was low key, like especially being younger, like not like a serious serious gamer, like yeah, but, like that's being what a I was gamer. To say. Yeah, like Ape Escape, it had this. Yeah, like walking around trying to grown, catch it with like, the net. Yo, I was in second grade when I beat that, and I felt like I could play big boy, big boy games. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm telling that you, I was ready, bro. You had to chase, yo. You had to chase these monkeys, bro. Like it was like, yo, it was a headache. Like that, like, uh like. Ape Escape was so good. I rebought it again when the PSP came out. It was like one of the launch games. So I was like, hell yeah, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Remember Rapper the Rapper right. though? You're right. Uh, per Rapper, the, I never played that. I just drew pictures of that dude for some reason. Yo, it, that game was lit, bro. It was like pretty much like the like Dance Dance Revolution way back when, where it's like triangle, square triangle circle like you like literally with the sticks though yeah, like, well 
Yeah, some of no, them you had uh, to do, but like you had to do, it was like pressing buttons to go with the rhythm. Like, what's that new game? Um, a Patapon. That game's fun. Yeah, Patapon. Patapon's, fun. Patapons no, and yeah, the man. one, no, the one that like the YouTubers are playing, and it's like dope. I mean, like the beats are fire. Like, like, like it's actually like low key. I mean, I, I'm gonna find it because it's one of my favorites. It's one of that Samurai Shampoo fighting game. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not even that. It's um, <laughs> wait, wait, Samurai Shampoo got a fighting game. Yeah, they had a fighting game on PS2 where you fight to the beat, like to the legit, like the DJ. The, the DJ's got these little turntables underneath your. Uh, that your, sounds your, familiar. Yeah, that actually like, sounds kind of dope. You get, you get like specials and ultimates, like in cadence with when the beat changes. Like that shit's sweet. <laughs> Friday night funkin. I'm dead. Never played that. I never it's a, it's, played it's new. It's newer. It's like probably it's like nine months, I guess, at this point, like ten and growing. But it's like a year, I would say, a yearish. Um, okay. but it's like Dance Dance Revolution, but it's like hip hop based, and you like press the direct. It's on the computer. You press the directional keys, and like to the beat. But the beats are like are like like fire. Actually, I'm a, I'm playing. Oh with, yeah, yeah. My friend here, was, um, you can play this on the computer. Yeah, yeah. Yo, there's a there's a there's Wait, a PSVR it? type version of that game called Beat Saber. Yo, because you kind of you, yeah. You, oh, wait, sorry. That, that looks dope. That looks dope. B Saber, B Saber is like it's like, but it's like licensed songs, like yeah, uh, it's licensed. Yeah, yeah, and it is it it looks fun. Don't get me wrong, because like all right, Guitar Hero. Yeah, I was just about to bring that up. Guitar Hero, yeah. Oh, man. Guitar Hero, like okay. Ain't... So hold on, let, let me answer real quick though. Let me answer the man's question real quick, because like I got some, I got some big, big, big bad games on this list. <laughs> okay, uh, here, right. we go, so, here we go. Here we go. Go for it. I remember, like back in the day, we we, we just game in for fun, right? So like we playing mm. Pokemon, we playing Kirby, like it's more like whimsical arcadey type fun stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it really wasn't until later that I hit like gaming Roblox as such. I remember. The first game I got when I got a PS3 was Call of Duty. Um, four? Um, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, I think it was Call of Duty. Probably four. four. That's what we all had that shit. Um, PS3. Yeah, man. We, we was in it. Um, but the next game I got after that was Bayonetta. Oh, back then? He was, oh, you, man, this dude really played them games. With the hand. I like, played, bro. you had this character? Yo, facts. So, like, this is when Bayonetta was still, like, a Sony franchise, like, exclusive. So, mm. I played that, and that game put me on my ass, man. Really? That game put, yeah. that Because, like, I hard? wasn't. The stray art. I, I was not, like, that, like, in tune with, with, with what, like, gaming like that back in the day. So, like, that put me on my ass. And I owned it. So, at the time, you know, I, I played it. I was like, yo, this girl's fine. She's powerful. Like, she's a witch, and she can reverse time and stuff. I was like, yo, I'm down with this. But, like these bosses be like slamming me hard bro like i can't so yeah that you know, was like I devil take may a pause cry. on that yeah, yeah exactly it's devil may cry ish right yeah so i take a pause on that when i went back to it afterwards i started getting better because like i put it down for a minute like i'm looking through my my playlist of other things that i played afterwards and like it's bayonetta then it's dragon age origins and it's mirror's edge it's far cry 2 final fantasy 13 did give it a try like i said and then I played like Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, and then I was like, okay, I kind of get the third, like the open world east type control mm-hmm. going on. So then I went back to Bayonetta, and I was like, okay, I'm doing better. This is fine. Okay, cool. Um, after that, the next game that really gave me a hard time was the original freaking Demon Souls. Like, oh, I, yeah. I remember buying this game, and my boy Francis in high school was like, Geo, this is not your type of game, bro. It is going to kill you. 20 that 20 times and it's gonna be frustrating and i was like francis i hear you bro but i still gotta do it man i went in there and that <laughs> thing slaughtered me like decimated me cut me up in a corner and left me to die and i i just stopped <laughs> i was just like okay yeah i don't enjoy punishing myself i'm not gonna go yeah, for the facts you. So, i am yeah. not masochistic <laughs> like this i am not masochistic <laughs> like I'm stop. no but Mm, years and i mean like decades later because like when i played demons demon souls was june 2010 this is this is logged okay june 2010 and it wasn't until maybe like three years ago um i think there was another game on ps plus that they gave away it was very much soulsborne type game but um no it's not bloodborne neo nah but i do i do play neo though i play neo one and two right now yeah okay um Uh... um it's it's more mech based. It's like technology based, and like you have like a saw arm. No, yep, yep, yep. No, he has like uh, an oversuit. Yeah, and he's yeah, in like yeah, a scrapyard. 
Yes. I know exactly that, what you're talking about. Yeah. That was the first that. game. Oh, I could find it. I, I know what it is. Yeah, it gave it away um, on Xbox too, though. Because like, I think that's oh, what I have they? it on. Yeah, I think that's what I have it on. It's on every it's like all platforms. Yeah, but, it's multi-platform for sure. Yeah, that game was like um, it was something else. Like, and it felt gritty. Like you were in a junkyard and you would build your body with like parts you would pick up and take yeah. from other machines as you like killed them and they would just like be there. It was brutal. The surge. The, the surge. surge. Yep. Yes. Yep. The surge it. was the real the first demon or souls born game that walked me into it slow enough that i could pick it up and kind of get the mechanics of it and start yep. playing it and then after that i jumped into neo and neo 2 and um bloodborne and kind of mm. like i started getting my footing in it where i'm not dying immediately 20 times to the first world exactly boss. <laughs> make sure you roll <laughs> I, I didn't even know about i didn't know that's what demon souls was back in the day like when y'all was playing it yeah. i would have bought it if i knew that it was just crazy hard i thought that was just more um fucking nerd skyrim shit like that's what i thought it was nah, man that, that thing is yeah, crazy yeah. hard I'm, I'm waiting for it to go on sale on the ps5 again now because i missed it but i'm definitely oh, yeah. buying it this time around. yeah no oh, so demon souls is the beginning of dark souls and then yeah. dark souls two you know three which they get less harder dark souls um, one is brutal i i that that's one of my games but yeah you go for it yeah yeah and the yeah. third one is kind of controversial because it's it's fifa and i must say fifa with an asterisk yeah. beside it Ooh. because <laughs> when i first when i first came uh moved to canada i was living with my cousins and stuff and these mans are like fifa ogs it's like they were play. i was i played like fifa 2000 and like i lived off that for like years yeah. these mans are playing every yearly iteration of fifa the man so when, 2k players ooh, it, they, they're 2k players as well and they were madden players so i was like yo these mans play fifa all right say less man these mans destroyed me destroyed me you ain't know the new mechanics it wasn't your fault yo, like no 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 even after i got a handle of the new mechanics like just knowing how to play like like ball iq like these mans destroyed me bro because mm. like i knew the mechanics but like their ball iq how to move and play they destroyed me set me up so like after that like we i played and like grew up with them hyperbolic time chamber i went through that for real for real yeah, so yeah. now now like we're on the same level ish like they'll still beat me every so often like but we're kind of level and i'll go online and like if you know how like um ea's ranking servers go you start at like rank 10 or like C, C, um what do you call it um tier 10 and you go straight up to like tier one i think is the highest and okay Every every year that I get the game, I'll play it and I'll go like straight up to like tier six or tier five, like no cap, undefeated sometimes, like just, Damn, just straight nah, up just sweeping. FIFA's yeah. Ideal. So yeah, is that like, NHL? Those are like yeah. FIFA and NHL are those those two sports games that I like re- have a respect for, unlike the rest. Facts. <laughs> no big facts. Yeah. Big facts, yo. Chewie, do you want to go or you want me to go with top three that we let go? No, nah, yeah, you go, you go. Okay, uh, so first, not first one, but one I like, that made me we just thought about, what made me just think about, was Dark Souls. I don't like so Dark Souls is. I'm not gonna count that as a top three that actually beat me because I never intended or wanted to play it. Like I was playing because my friends was playing it, and they were like, "Yeah, we should totally play with us, bro. We, we play Dark Souls. Come on, like just give us souls, and then we'll come in and we'll help you beat the game." And I was like, "All right, bet." And then I ran out of souls because I would die, and they were like. Got to get more souls, bro. Sorry. And I'm like, I don't yeah, even know how to play the game. I'm in the middle of somewhere I've never been. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. And you want me to literally fight two Waverns on a roof when I don't even know how to really play. I've just been running behind y'all the whole time. Like, and they're like, yeah, you just got to kill this Wavern. The sun God will help you, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, no, fuck you. <laughs> fuck this game. Yeah, it's like, I'm done. And I quit it. So that's like the, that's like the honorable mention, but the, it had like, Dark Souls is a number breed. We, you, you can talk about Dark Souls later. Like that is a whole different beast. I'm coming but, for it, dog. I trust me. As soon as Demon Souls goes, Demon Souls goes back on on sale. I'm getting that. I'm gonna beat it on the hardest difficulty, just like I always do with every other game. It will be no different. <laughs> Stream that, please. I will be there for it the whole time. Yeah, this gonna Man. take me. This gonna Yo. take me hella long. I'm sure. No. <laughs> Hey, like I'm when I tell you that is like the normal mode is already the hardest game mode normal in most mode other games. Is difficult, bro. The worst mode, like like I think it's like nightmare or something like that. I can't even yeah, remember. But like nightmare. Yeah, I wouldn't even look at it because it was like I'm not no, I'm not nah. I know I'm never going nah. to be there. Like I can accept that as a gamer and my impatience and how I play things, I'm never going to be a Dark Souls guy. Like 
I respect the game always. I'm not saying it's bad. If you've ever been interested, try it. By all means. It's I'm, just letting you, I'm telling you, go in normal. And then see if you can get to, like, the hardest mode. Because the hardest mode is, like, timing. Like, you have to be, like, roll. You have to be hit, a hit, god. Hit. Yeah, you like, god, you got to like... know how many times you can hit him before his frames reset and clap, and clap you. Like, you play Ghost of Tsushima. So yeah, plan yeah, on, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm playing yeah. on lethal. As I say, yeah, planet on lethal. Imagine a duel in lethal. Every uh, fight, <laughs> every enemy uh, you're running uh, to, it's, <laughs> it's relentless, bro. It's relentless. Because like, I played, yo, I played, I played Ghost of Tsushima on lethal as well. And like, I remember being in duels, like sitting there first. I'm like, I'm playing like this. I'm chilling, you know, like yeah, whatever. And I'm like, you know, and then it gets to the point where like chair goes back. And I'm like, and then I'm standing up and I'm like, nah, fuck, nah, no, no, forget All this. Right. Like, like, no, 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 no. Like, I'm like, I have one recorded. It's on my PSN, my PlayStation. And I'm going to send it to you. It's five minutes of me fighting this one. And I'm like, I would get close sometimes and then she would just wipe me. And I would get close sometimes and then she would just wipe me. And I'm like, is the one you, when you're fighting that, that goes to that village? Did you get that far? Uh, the ghost of the village. It's a, it's a mythical quest. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I did that. I don't think I fought any ghosts. I haven't really done any mythicals. So I'm just doing my tales. Right. I ain't gonna ruin it, but it's pretty much like this chick who's in the village, and you go there. I can't remember. It's for I think it's like some mythical. It's like a a move. I think one of those kind of quests. But like I remember, and it, it's beautiful though. Beautiful. That's what I love about the game. But you stand yeah. inside this. It's like a ring, and it's like these two statues. And you enter it, and she's standing there, and she's like, everybody else may follow you. But I don't fuck with you. And then, like, y'all go at it. And she whooped my ass around this ring <laughs> for, like, 10 minutes, bro. And I got so mad. I was like, I'm not going to bed until I beat you. Like, I'm like, no. this. And I'm like, when I win, though, it's like a synchrony. Like, it's beautiful. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, like fucking dodging, going in, hitting my moves. You, you, feel, like, you feel proper when you win in that, man. Play Ghost of Tsushima on Legend. Like, Lethal, I'm sorry. I call it Legendary, but Lethal. Every duel you fight, because there's one you have to fight, I'm telling you now, is four samurai. <laughs> They're like legendary samurai. You got to fight four of them, bro. And I'm telling you, that took me like three, four hours. I'm like, still, I'm on the um, I'm on the last mission right now where you fight uh the Khan and uh, ooh. bro. So look, at first, right, that duel part that you do at the at the beginning. At first, I thought that was hard. Now I've gotten to the last part and died so many times that I have like a patented way of getting to that part quickly. Like I breeze through the first three parts and I get to the part where you break his spear and then he got like his his goons to come out after that. Just can't get to this nigga. Too many goons. Yeah. No, it's like Lethal is a different beast with that game. Like, but it's so I don't know what it is. It's like I'm telling you, I've spent, it is, bro. It is worrying me. Like I slayed yo, I slayed out. You got you got PlayStation Geo. Like, if you don't have Ghost, bro. You, not yet. Yeah, you, you not, not, not playing yet. that shit, Jill. Yo, not not you, right now, man. Not right now. Not I got right no. Now. I got you. And I mean, at the same time, like if you're busy, it is what it is. It is. But what like, it is, bro. when I tell you aesthetically, like beautiful. Oh, like, yeah. Sometimes I fall asleep like, yeah. to the game, like just with the game in the background because the weather just sounds like nice and shit. Like, <laughs> and it comes to ASMR. Too, like, yo. Yo, it is. You'll you'll hear like a. Like, like you're looking at the trees, you know? and like damn. Especially on the PS5, or if you got a PC. Well, I don't think Ghost isn't on PC, is it? I nah. think they were thinking about doing it. I'm not sure. I don't think they did it yet, though. Uh, uh, it's exclusive right now. Yeah, it's it definitely exclusive. Like it started out that way, at least. But I think they're thinking about porting it to PC. But it is like, I don't know, man. It's it's one of those games. Like I like, I haven't hooked my PlayStation up. I'm about to have to like move again or whatever. But like. It's one of those games when I get like settled and I kind of like sit everything down and kind of like go at it. Like I'm finishing it. Like, cause I was like, I'm probably like the opposite, I guess, of Blades in this aspect where this game I've been doing, like I'm walking, like riding my horse through the fields and the random question mark pop up and I'm like, let me go see what that is. <laughs> and I'll just like That's, ride over to the side yeah, and like, I just, I just do whatever I can see. Yeah. No, I got you. Hey. I got you. And I mean, like, it's like, I'm not. By no means, honestly, that's probably why I haven't beat it. It's like I have spent probably like 20 plus hours in it. And I just, I get so like ADHD that I'm just like every little thing that pop up, like the mythic quest, all of it. As you see it, eh? I just like, yeah, as I'm riding, I'm just going like all the shrines. I read so many different things to do in that game. Like it's, it's one of the like 
when it says open world, it's like open world, open like whatever you want to do, whatever order you want to run in, like you can just do it. Like it shit is beautiful. I'm sorry, but first yeah, game. Still, so yeah, first game was what uh, Demon yeah, Souls. That, that was an honorable mention. I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. give it like an honest like game that like games that I like actually tried and and then like just fucking fell off. Let me see. Um... I, well, I had to let go just because it was just Demon Souls. It was too boring. No, no, no. It's Final Fantasy VIII. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, right, playing that game, that. I just couldn't hit it. Um, it just it didn't hit with me. Uh, what else? Sheesh, mm-hmm. many of I just I gave up on. Hold up. Give me a second. I'm sure, my Steam library and stuff. Because <laughs> I can't like I really I really don't like giving up. So it's like one of those things where whenever I like I approach something, I'm like, I'm like, I'm either gonna beat it or I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna beat it. Like I'm never just gonna like just stop. Just chill on it and yeah, like, I mean, some stuff like just gets tabled though, man. Like for me, like I had I had um Majora's Mask was the first one that I had that was like, what the fuck is wrong? I can't play this game. Like, I would be excited to get off of school and play this shit every day, and I can't even really play it because I don't know what to do, like, I, at it. all. Like, I just could not figure out what to do. You no, know, for the life of me, could not figure it out. Mm-hmm. So, all right. I had that. I got that game in second grade. I beat it in my senior year of high school, uh, and I played yeah. just playing it occasionally every every year. Yeah. I had to level up considerably. Oh, shoot. I hear that. I hear that. I'm saying right. that, uh uh let's see a second one second oh dragon ball z legendary super warriors on game boy color a lot, a lot of people didn't Ooh. play that no i, I remember goku that. saga it's a it's a rp it's like a turn-based uh fighting game um oh, like, okay yeah but it was just dummy hard man like napa napa was really hard uh, the game covers like all the way up to the boost saga. Uh, back then, I didn't even know that man because I couldn't get past Raccoon. Like, Raccoon was like the hardest fight ever. Man. And then I, I picked that game up again. Like, uh, I got that game in, like third grade, picked that game up again in like eighth grade, and finally beat it. And was like, damn, this is a good game. Like, I still play that sometimes. I had to put some friends on. But- no, Raccoon, you said this day, like Raccoon, bro, and Budokai. Yeah. <laughs> Budokai was was the was the main line, bro. That was Yo, Raccoon. I don't know what it was, but this man put in work like he was fighting for the whole Ginyu force. Like they well, all gave was, him his though. energy. Like they, they was, was though. they would because they would put like just him in the game at first. Like it was like him and Ginyu. Like yeah, <laughs> there's nobody else for them to nobody else, man. Like, yeah, or they, they did. Yeah, they left out with Jace, and then uh, it was a blue dude. Murder, Goldo, Bar- Barter, yeah, 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 and then Goldo. They left them three out, and you fought fucking Jace as Vegeta, and you fought Raccoon. No, they didn't even add. They didn't even add Jason. No, Tenkaichi. Jason Budokai. Yeah, yeah. No, Jason Budokai too. Nah, Jason and Budokai too. He was in two or three. Raccoon, bro, it was just Raccoon and uh. Getting you? Oh wait a minute, dude. Why do why do, why do I feel like man? Jace, yeah, no, because you fight you fight Jace with Vegeta. And it's either in Tenkai, I'm sorry, Budokai 2 or Budokai 3. Because I know the first one, it was kind of like streamlined. And it, it was Raccoon and Ginyu. You, po- you mostly played as Goku in those, like, the nah, main fight. He was in, he was in Tenkaichi 3 and yeah, not Budokai 3. Wait, wait. Jace was not, hold on, hold on. why do I remember playing, like, fighting him? Yeah, because Budokai 2, remember, like, the story mode in that game was just, like, they had you, like, hop At game board? across the map on the yeah. yeah. And then, like, the characters that you fought were pretty, like, non-canonical anyway. So they just had Raccoon. They had Frieza come to Earth with Raccoon and Bert and, uh, and, and, uh, and fucking Ginyu. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that game. Zarbon, Zardon, Zarbon, and um, Dodoria. Maybe it's them. Um, I think they were still in it, just not in that part of the or or the other part where you fight Frieza on actual Namek. They were in that part. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it was only Captain Ginyu and Raccoon in Budokai Two. Right. Wait, wait, hold up. Yeah, just making sure I do the fact checking right quick. No, yeah. definitely, definitely, definitely. I saw like I don't want to spit out false facts out here. Uh, even in actually, hold up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't until Tenkaichi because like Dodoria is not even uh, Budokai games. You Budokai yeah, three no. came out on my birthday. 
That's crazy. <laughs> did it really? Oh, it really so, did. So apparently, the whole squad was supposed to go to to show up, like from um, from the game data. Like people mined the game data from Budokai Three, and apparently, Birder, Jace, and Golder were supposed to be in there, but they got cut. Oh. Uh. Yeah, so I guess like, that does make sense. They did have a whole bunch of random ass uh, missions, like yeah, I didn't and even there's know. supposed to be a, yeah, there's supposed to be other stuff in there real quick. So, um, I watched a dude's review on that last night. I actually need to know what y'all opinion of that is. Uh, what's the worst Dragon Ball Z game on PS2? I'm the this guy who went hyper specific. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's the worst one. It should be it should be plainly obvious. If it's not, it's something wrong with you on PS2. Oh. Yep, there's there's one of them. That's oh, weird. let me so get there's this two list of them, right? Quick. There's one of them that sh- with with the hindsight of playing its its two sequels, you know, is not a good game anymore. After after not being a child anymore, you can tell this isn't a good game, but it used to be. And there's one that was never fun. Ultimate Fighters. I saw uh, on the PS2 on the PS2. On PS2. It's Ultimate Fighters on PS2. I don't even know what Ultimate Fighters is. What is that? Yeah, it was like so they had the Budokai series, and then it was like their the runoff series. Not from Budokan, oh, but it's... No, you talking about Super Dragon Ball Z? The uh, the other PS2 Dragon Ball game, uh, Super Dragon Ball Z, it was like a Street Fighter, like, uh, it had King Piccolo in it. You could, like, give everybody custom moves, like Frieza could shoot spirit bombs and command mans. It's a... Yeah, I don't Dragon even remember that one. <laughs> There's the Budokai, the Tenkaichis, and then that, that spinoff, that one spinoff of Super it Dragon Ball Z. It wasn't Sagas. Are you talking maybe about Sagas? Maybe, maybe it is... Sagas did definitely Sagas. That's, yeah. That was my idea. Second one. Sagas yeah, is Bud- definitely. Yeah. So Budokai one, two. Maybe three, I'm thinking Ultimate, but Sagas, it is Super. Tenkaichi, Super Dragon Ball Z, Tenkaichi two, Tenkaichi three, Burst Limit, Burst Infinite, Limit PS three, Infinite. Uh, Burst. Yeah, Burst Limit is inf- P- PS three. Sorry. Infinite World is PS two. Yeah, Infinite World PS two. Infinite know, World is that's essentially it. just Budokai four. That's that's all it is. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I never played it. <laughs> that's it. It comes that's after Tenkaichi, so it's weird and nobody knows that, but that's all it is. Just improved Budokai. Yeah, so I'm think, instead of me saying Ultimate Dragon Ball Z, well, Dragon Ball Z, Ultimate, I think it was Super Dragon Ball Z. That was when I was talking. It was like, I knew it was a fighting game, and I like, even like watching it was like, nah. And I, I, like, I like that game. I always have. Ultimate? Always, or Super? I'm sorry, Super, uh, not Ultimate. Yeah, Super Ultimate. Dragon Ball Z. I always have like that game. They do like the flight mechanics different. They do the stamina different. It's kind of like Street Fighter, but you can fly. Like, it's, it's cool. I like it. I mean, three D fighter, but it has like two D fighter mechanics. I like it. It's experimented. This is interesting. Ah, I mean, I, I this is what I'm thinking about. I'm pretty sure I saw it, and it just it, um, yeah. What the fuck did I go to Yahoo? I'm just gonna answer for y'all. The worst Dragon Ball Z game on the PS2 is Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi, the first one, the first Tenkaichi, the yeah. first. One. Not two, not three. There is if n- niggas who had such a good time with two and three that they forget that the first one was horrendous. It was how horrible. how I is it horrendous? It is. How I is think it that's horrendous? what it is though? Um, how? Because I love horrendous? Tenkaichi one. Okay, like, all right. So I'm um, you. You do a special move, right? Which is a a a. a let me turn first it down, sorry. Attack. And for almost every character in that game, it was this move called high speed rush. And you could just do that shit over and over and over again. You couldn't block it. You couldn't run away from it. Nothing could happen. You, you would fight computers in that game that would just spam that shit over and over again. Some computers, you know those special ability moves you can do with uh, like L and L and circle or like I'm getting mad and shit like that, right? Some computers have those things that can like give them extra key or give them extra help. They can do those rush moves like high speed movement on you, knock you down to the ground, use that move to get all of their key and their health back before you get up off the ground. And then you guessed it, use high speed rush again and hit you. And you can't block, can't move, can't run away. So your options in that game are to do the same basic combo on a nigga and knock him down to the ground and let him get back up or to high speed rush him over and over and over again. That game is horrible. And, and you can't transform just a cherry on a cake. That game is horrible. Yeah, you had Listen. to pick. Yeah, and now, yeah, because you had to pick the upgrade. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Gio. Go ahead, Gio. Yeah, go ahead. Just for context, Eurogamer gave it a four out of ten. <laughs> it's so <laughs> trash. <laughs> no, I, I didn't even think about that. Like, you can't transform. You had to pick the upgraded version going into the fight. All right. Bro, it was yeah. it was bad, dude. You could stand. Even the hit detection was bad in that game. Like, you could stand in front of your opponent and just regularly tap the triangle button and shoot key blast, and he would shoot around him and fucking miss and shit. And then the story mode even knew that game was hard as fuck because half of the missions would just tell you to survive for 90 seconds. They never wanted you to win. Hey, they just wanted you to survive for 90 Ooh. seconds. Kid Bull, 
Oh yeah, no! Well, even before that, they had oh, you doing no. that against Raccoon. They had you with, with yeah. Vegeta doing that against Frieza. Like that was a trend to survive. They that was yeah. because the game was hard. They knew that. Yo, but Kid Buu, like the fact that he would hit you and take like a quarter of your health bar, and he had combos for days, mm-hmm. and could go to sleep and when get I all tell his health you, back and do that Mystic combination again before it's a wrap. Back up. How many times? I, like, I remember me and my cousin would pass the controller back and forth. Like, you sit there and keep playing, but like, all right, you can't do it. Let me get it. Let me try. And then they couldn't do it. Like we went back and forth, handing the controller off to see who could beat this man or survive. I didn't even think about that. Like. All right, you know what? You got a point. You got a point. I yeah, get that one to you. I want to say, yeah, we bought we, that. That is that is Tenkaichi one is in fact the first one. But the next, the second one was so so much of a drastic improvement that we was having so much fun with that game that when they dropped the third one, we didn't even know there was shit wrong with the second one. Like we didn't even know you could make this game better. They dropped the third one. It was like, oh, 170 <laughs> characters <laughs> like this dog. It was good. Bet. That was a good time to be alive. <laughs> Yo, man, it's not wrong, bro. I eat not. I can't. I can't. Yo, argue. yo, like, yo, the, yo, point, yo. the points brought up are so like. <laughs> yo, here's a hot take. Here's a hot take. Just to add icing on the cake, yo. Tenkaichi two, I think won best fighting game of the year for one of the years it was out. Oh, it did it really? And it yeah. wasn't even like a like a major like a like a competitive or whatever game. No, no, no. Here, here. Look, the PS2 version of this game received best fighting game of the year award from X Play. Done, oh, man. Oh, it was X-Play, going. X-Play used to be it. It, it was going that year, though, dude. I, I remember, like, that was it was totally different. It was fair. Had my nigga Turles in it. It was that was it was different, bro. Bro, that Eddie. whole series went from four out of ten to seven point five out of ten, bro. That's a thirty five percent. Yo, heck, uh, yo. In what did three get? What did three get? Yeah. Let me see. Uh, three? They actually branched off into like the GT series in that one. Like that's why I think I love too. Yeah, like, yeah. Even the story mode was sweet in that. Like, I remember, like, doing that with your boy. Like, you used to be able to, like, I get one character, you get one character. Like, you go up. Wait, wait. Is that one that? Like, uh, IGN gave it an 8 out of 10. Uh, check out your 3? Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're, you know, I think they're not the target audience, but eight's good enough. Like, yeah, but that game is like, mean, what more do you want? What more do you want? The like, game had fucking everybody in it. it had every fucking thing you asked for nigga if you wanted to play with a character that couldn't even fly you could go put a capsule on him that says flight and give him the ability to fly like it was great <laughs> <laughs> listen that that was that was the the ultimate smash of its time because like now ultimate smash has the biggest roster every man is in it like there's some people we're missing, but like it's fine. Oh, oh, who, who are you talking about? Smash Bros. Yeah, Smash Bros. Oh. Like the the last Smash Bros. Right now is the definitive Smash Bros. Like yeah. Tenkaichi three was Tenkaichi three is the definitive Dragon Tenkaichi. Ball experience. Yeah, I can say that. Yeah, yeah. I can no, say no, 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 no. Real quick, real quick. Fighting, don't get me wrong. fighting game wise, fighting game wise, Xenoverse. No, I, like, I don't even. I the universe okay. two definitely. First of all. I will dog walk you at Xenoverse. I know. Then, no, no, don't get me wrong. wrong. I'm saying like, and, no. And, but but, but that's just that's just context on saying that it's a shit game. It's a no, game's no, no. dog shit. So Xenoverse 2, I'm talking about, and you look at it, like you take it and not for like the glitches. Well, not yet. You're talking about the, as a whole, right? Like, yeah, like as So a you whole, take Tenkaichi 3 and then you take Xenoverse 2. And even if you do Kakarot, like they took the, 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 the formula from Xenoverse, I'm sorry, from Tenkaichi 3 and then they made Xenoverse, Xenoverse 2, and Kakarot. Like, right. And then even Ultimate Fighter Z is more so like Marvel vs. Capcom with Dragon Ball Z yeah, mechanics, which, great, that's not wrong with that. All right. It's, yeah, Sorry, not, it's yeah. by no means nothing wrong with that. Like, that is a fighting game. It is like yeah. a raw-ass fighting game. Like, that game is it. But Xenoverse 2, for what, like, Tenkaichi 3 is, like, they took it, made it, gave it better graphics, a little more, like, refined mechanics, and they made it like a, a real last thing. Like I feel like I can't yeah. take away from like game. I, I feel okay. I can see what you mean. Like uh, the yeah, whole, the whole presentation of it is like okay, all the things that they brought game mode and customization wise and PvP and multiplayer wise. Like you're right, all of those things are good add-ons. But the mechanics of that game is at like, the time. I played that game every single day from the day it came out. I was the last person playing that game. I couldn't even get a match online. I stopped playing it. Eventually, after the Tournament of Power came out, they decided to launch DLC after Fighter Z was out and the game had been dead already. I had been like already begging my friends to play that. Nobody was trying to play it anymore. 
Um, and then I started to see why, like, just even getting used to those game mechanics was weird. But, like, Rage and Blast, like, Rage and Blast 2, Rage and Blast 1 was kind of bad. Actually, yeah, Rage and Blast 1 is on, like, the first Tenkaichi's level of a bad game. And then, like, the second one is, is like, a little bit better. Like, they fixed it. Like, I, I don't know, man. That Xenoverse is, like, it's, like, why would you want to get used to a game like that? You Even when you're, doing, you're winning in ranked match, like, there are times where I'm hitting a nigga and I'm not even hitting him. And I'm, like, I'm glad this is happening to me and not you. Right. Man got the no rigs, man. Jeez. <laughs> or or have registered not me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I All got right. you. Yeah. Like it's but it's that's why like Xenoverse one, it was yeah. Like with Xenoverse 2, they refined a lot of it. And like even now that it's like in par with super and they kind of releasing things like DLC wise to kind of keep you up to date with the um like the story in a sense. Like I, I just can't be like Xenoverse 2, I can't be mad at as a game. Like I think like they really Dragon Ball Z has always been good at that, though, like refining. If you look at Budokai One but, and Budokai Three, hold up, three, hold up like, though, hold up though. It's not Dragon Ball Z as a franchise, though. It's um, it's the guys that it's. You're the, right. You're right. It's uh, um, Bandai, Namco, Bandai, Bandai. Yeah, yeah. It's Bandai Namco and the same guys who made like the Ultimate Ninja series for Naruto. Um, yeah. uh, I know exactly it, what you're talking about. I'm yeah, you know who I'm talking Mobile, about, right? But I'm not the name. Like, I'm not Namco. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 Bandai Namco and the actual like cybers cyber o- Ocratron. 9,000 or something like that. <laughs> the actual publisher of the, like, not the publisher, sorry, the actual developer of the game. They, they, I'm pretty sure they share developers um, for a bunch of those series. And Cyber every, Connect? Yes, it's Cyber Connect, right? Yeah, Cyber Connect too. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. That's why I was right. They always do a thing where they, they come out with like a series and it's always like three parts. It's always Ultimate Ninja, Ultimate Ninja 2, Ultimate Ninja 3. And you know the third one? Is gonna genuinely be the culmination of that. Se- that I've, been, I've been worried about that, dude, because like I really felt like with with this is what I will say about Xenoverse Two. I did really felt like wait. if they made a three of this game, they would Dimps. probably get it right. Fine, wait, wait. I so, did think hold that. Up. What Dimps made Budokai? Dimps, you think I Dimps Digital oh, Dimps. Invader? Mm. Yeah, but wait, wait, I didn't look up. Tenkaichi, I know it was made by. I think somebody. And I say I know, but I'm pretty sure it was made by. Somebody else. Wait, Spike? Hold up. The devel- yeah, it says developer Spike. Um, who else thing them? So Ben Diamondenko published it. Art. Okay, so I might be wrong on that in terms of who actually developed it, but oh um, no, no no, all right, so no, you so they did they made Ninja Stone, but they also did make Kakarot. They did, right? They did. Now, yeah, they, it might be. Though. Yeah, they did. Uh, okay, say less. So, was, then they got hell. They made the Dot Hat series, Final Fantasy Seven. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Cyber Connect be all over the place, bro. They they like anime central, bro. Like yeah, man. They they Japan they Japanese as hell. Straight Soul up. Soul Caliber. <laughs> yeah, man. Cyber Connect has been in the fighting game sphere for a hot minute. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, Graham. Fix your your um. Oh, your sorry. The, yeah, the death. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 yeah. They may it's so in Kakarot you can go Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah, that's been uh out with the latest DLC. What? Is it part of the story? Like they, it's like they, the uh, he's just so they they did add more story missions with the DLC, but don't like look forward to it in the same way that the the story mode of the actual game was. Like, yeah, it's like a just just some DLC. It's mostly really just grindy, bro. Like you get to play the the Beerus mission, and then you get to go to Beerus's planet and train with him and Wiz. And training with him and Wiz just consists of doing these different versions of the same mission over and over again, where you fight Wiz. Um, and then, like, the different versions of it, he's, like, you know, at a different level, so he's stronger. But you're just doing that over and over and over again so he can give you a bunch of holy waters so that you can use it to level your character up to level 250 so that you can fight Beerus again one time. Um, and then 
the Frieza DLC is like, that's fun because you get to do that one mission where you fight all them soldiers. It's very lacking DLC is what I'm trying to tell you. I got you. <laughs> no, 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 no I got like, you. Yeah. I'm going to say it sounds like really mediocre. But, but uh, the, the part three of it is the history of Trunks. And like, that's an actual like cinematic part of the DLC. I've been playing through that. I'm actually not finished with that. That part's pretty good so far. Like, I'm really fucking with that. Yeesh. I wonder if I can get it on my computer because like most of the games you get on Xbox, you can kind of cross port to your computer. Yeah, do you, did their um with Microsoft's play everywhere type yeah um, and like talk right to now? each other yeah yeah that's Trying pretty so smart. hard that's bro. pretty dope no, no I yeah shit again on the switch I I think I might just have to get it though like because I have it I know I bought it on Xbox and then like I don't have my Xbox looked up so I don't really like I'm like lost not lost but don't play any of those games but my PC is what I've been kind of like honing in on awesome. and, like, yeah. So I just kind of need to see if I can. I, I got to pull it up. I'll look at it later. So I can just find <laughs> to see if I can like pull that up and like because I would. I, I've been kind of like wanting like that kind of single player. Ah, uh, like I literally just downloaded Age of Empires three. Like I could play through the campaign of this. Like you know what I mean? Age of Empires. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. But that's a good one. It's yeah. I'm sorry. And then before we forget, because like my Uber eats food. This guy here. I'm like I'm gonna go grab that just so I don't sit outside oh, too long. But well. We can sign out and then come back at it because, like, I think this one was like we we are pretty much. Uh, we're I think we're around in about an hour. It might be over. What's the What's the target time for this? Like, how much how are y'all trying to make it? Really, it really uh, don't matter. Like, yeah, it, it varies. It varies. Yeah, um, as long as it like flows, it's like yeah. As long as it flows, it's probably the best thing. Um, but probably we try to keep it like at a palatable length, maybe like an hour or so. Yeah, hour and a little bit. So yeah. Maybe we'll we break it down it if need be. Yeah. Yeah. We can do like a part one, part two if if we're really on something like that's substantial. Yeah. Um, but for Which now, I, I mean Yeah. This one we kind of did tangent a little bit, but we we also yeah. did like we spoke a lot about like on some quality games. Like if people watch this, not if like when people watch this, you know, it's like um like I'm telling like talking to y'all in a sense, like the games that we did mention, like if they hit kind of hits in your range fighting rpg or whatever definitely check them out like i promise you at least i know definitely mine i know actually no i know all of y'all's like they're all quality <laughs> like yeah like they're well, all quality you get, games. you get like a wide like spectrum like from like from yeah because yeah. i feel like the dark souls final fantasy-esque tier is way different than the tank budokai tenkaichi tier like but they yeah. do mingle yeah, you know, there's a like, little bit of cross section. There's a little bit of cross section. Exactly. Yeah. We didn't talk about like shooters or nothing like that, but that could be another one, you know. But we that's, just that's this whole, is like whole. RPG. This is really RPG based, you know, even with Mega Man and a Fire Emblem and everything along those lines. Shooters. Yeah, real shooters, not <laughs> <all of these. laughs> wow. That's cool. that's the beginning of something. Listen, <laughs> as as a precursor to another episode where we probably do shooters on its <laughs> own merits and rights, we have to acknowledge that Call of Duty is a big hitter. It is responsible for a majority of what the FPS skier looks like now. Responsible? It, I it, say it has an influence. <laughs> it has yeah, a any, massive influence. Just like any rapper, right? But I wouldn't nah, say nah, that nah, any nah, of nah, these nah. Listen, listen. rappers are Whoa. responsible for the Whoa, rap chill, 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 chill. <laughs> you know chill, what I'm saying? Well, what I'm going to say is, remember, Call of Duty, whenever it comes out, is literally the best-selling game for months. I'm going to just throw that out. So is Lil Pump. Does no, that mean get the best rapper? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Graham, we're gonna wrap it up right here. Oh my God. This, is, this is where we wrap it up. Go I'm, ahead, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna respectfully disagree. Right, we're gonna have to I know no, real quick, real quick. So all right, <laughs> tune in next time, guys. You know, next time when the guy comes up with your podcast, we talk about Call of Duty. Is it trash? <laughs> Call of Duty, is it trash or not? Is it trash or not? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, uh, thank y'all for coming uh thank you blaze definitely for being here great show in my opinion black phoenix you already know already and then graham we all signing out finger guns no okay that's uh, that. <laughs> that's how we do it <laughs> there we all go. right all right Please. peace like comment subscribe you know the deal come back through hit the note what is it the subscribe button hit the hit the bell come back through when we post videos you know what i'm saying Please, and always comment. Definitely comment. Let us know what you think about anything we said. If you don't agree, by all means, we'll address it. And then this fourth slot, we will always invite people to come on and check it out. Like, especially, like I said, top fan status. Always comment and share and liking, doing whatever. Like, 
especially if you're speaking facts in the comments, like, like you're most likely going to be on here. Like, you, you talking shit? Like, like yeah, like, Gio, though. <laughs> like, like, yeah, you'll be here. Like, we always love that. Like, oh, man. Peace. All right, dude, be breezy. All right.